All right, welcome back to the bench. Today we're going to continue to work on the Vanquish DS410 Phoenix. Last time we did Bag H, then I said we were going to do Bag I. Well, Bag I is the body and the interior. And I'm going to save that until next time because I have to paint this body before we actually do any um, putting parts on it. So this video we're going to work on the tires and wheels and then the next video get this into a roller then the next video we will paint and then after that we will put on the parts. But today we're going to do the wheels and tires. Now I'm not using the vanquished wheels. The vanquished wheels are plastic and they look like this. We're going to use these Enjora wheels. The 1.9 beadlocks and I've used Enjora wheels for my uh, 124th scale stuff and I really like them. And they're not terribly expensive. Bag of screws, a lot of screws. And these wheels are kind of a gray flat and then black rims. Now you can change these to different colors if you wish. Okay. So the rings you can change. All right, Vanquish or not Vanquish, I'm sorry. Um yeah, Vanquish, Vanquish wheels come with foams. One stage foams. Okay, we're going to change those. So first of all, we're going to put new foams in. I have two different sets of foams for this um, build. One is have uh, stiff. These are heavier. These are much lighter. Okay. So, where do you put the heavy ones? Where do you put the light ones? These are really light compared to these. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff one of these light ones in one of these wheels. These are two stage foams. They're stiffer here and very uh, squishy on the outside. So just squeeze them and stretch them and push and pull and just work them in. So what that phones do is they make them kind of act more like a rail tire and gives you a little more, um, how do you want to put it, stiffness to the sidewalls with this two stage stuff. This here is just a single stage. There's nothing wrong with the single stage ones, but I've never used two stage ones. This will be the first time. So we want to make sure that we get them stuffed in there 
like they're supposed to be to work them around a little bit. And there. So we got one in there. So once you get the uh, foam inside the wheel or tire, you take the wheel and take the back off the wheel. And jar wheels are pretty easy. There's two screws. Okay, you take the front of the wheel, put this, take the ring out of the wheel, put it inside your foam. You gotta work that in there. It's a little tight, but that's good. You want it to be tight. All this works together. And then you want the bead of the tire on the outside of that um, inner wheel part. Okay, then put the top in, push it down, and it will, the uh, ring has a lip here that'll push down on the bead and push that bead against the um, ring that's on the inside thus be locking the bead in place okay then take the back side put it over the um, bead on the back side of the wheel and line up the screw holes and replace the screws in the back. You're going to have to push these down a little bit. These are tight, which is good. And so you can get the screw started. Put a little pressure on them. Get the screw started. Get one started. Don't tighten it up. Get the other side right straight across from it and tighten it up put a little pressure get that screw started okay so then you tighten in the screws down in the back over the bead make sure that uh, you got the ring covering the bead in the front and that locks it in place and then the next part is put in 352.6 screws. Okay. Twenty-four screws are on the ring, and of course six screws in the center. Okay. And six screws in the back. So we'll put the rest of the back screws in. Don't tighten them all the way down. You don't need to use bead locks on these. I mean a uh, thread lock. You can. They, they should be okay. Just snug them up. And Put all the screws in. Like I say, there is different size offsets here. Uh, let's see, you got. The ones that come with these wheels are metal and they are, if I can find my ruler, there it is, um, 
I would say I don't know. Let's take them out and see. These hubs are these. They're metal. The ones that come with the vanquish are plastic. And they're gonna push you out probably five millimeters, maybe four. And this one here is probably five, and this one is probably 12 or 15, something like that. Kind of hard to actually measure. But we're going to keep these in and see if they, they'll fit on the vehicle because they're metal. And those hubs, extensions, or whatever you want to call them, are um, plastic. So we'll leave the metal ones in and we'll see how, if we have any issues with tire rub. Or anything like that if we don't we'll leave them in there if we do we'll have to change them okay when you're putting the screws in you got them across from each other go across from each other you want to pull these down pretty much the same um, don't tighten them all the way up until you get all the screws in and then skip a couple, put the screw in, or skip one, put the screw in, skip another, put the screw in, and skip another, put the screw in. So you're not putting them all in and pulling the, the wheel ring to one way or the other before you get it. Um, all snug down so you don't pull the bead out of the wheel okay now one other little trick you get them all started you don't snug them up until um, you get them all in and then go all the way around and snug them up so they won't come out and what you do, what I do, is leave one open, the last ones. Don't put a screw in. Go around and tighten them all up till you come back around to where that screw is not there again. And then you'll know you have them all tightened and put the last screw in. But leave that last screw out and it will let you know when you come back around that you've tightened them all up. Like I said, you don't want to tighten them up until you get them all in and snug down just so they're snug. Kind of a little bit of pull on the ring because you want this ring to seat correctly on your beads. If it don't, your bead will pop out. And you don't want your bead popping out. It's embarrassing. And this is just a time consuming, tedious thing you have to do if you're going to use bead locks. You're going to use glued ones, plastic ones. And most people don't even use those anymore. And you have to glue them, then you can make a mess. Alrighty, so now we have all of the screws but one in the ring that goes around. 
and you start where you left the screw out and just snug them up like you would so they won't fall out. Make sure you got them all tight. When you get around to the last one, you know you've done them all. And then you put that last lug in. I mean, uh, screw in. And then you can put in their last screw. And you have your bead locks. Your bead is underneath the ring here and in the back. And they won't spin off. So those are the wheels we're putting on the uh, heavy. that offset looks like it'll be just fine okay and then we'll put the uh, comes with little caps got some little black rings here if you want to put those in if you want to put an accent inside they got little black rings here uh, and then put the hub nut wheel nut on hold them on okay I'll be back after I get all these done and on the vehicle okay we're back we got all the screws in I do believe I missed one Okay, 36 screws, four tires. You do the math. There's a lot of screws. But we got them all finished. Now, Vanquish gave us these little caps. Let's see if they'll fit the... Uh, There are metal caps out there. No, these are not going to fit. Metal caps out there that you can buy. And if I get some, I'll show you. I put them on my um, I used to own a Dodge like this. 2012 Dodge. Same color. Everything. Same wheels, tires. And the caps to screw on to the um, axles that will cover. And like I said, I got those from G-Made, I do believe. Well, we don't have any for right now. I will find some someday, and I will show you what I'm talking about. Okay, now all I gotta do is figure out what I do with the wheel nuts. Alright, the wheel nuts are inside the hardware bag for the wheels. And you know, when you buy in Jorah, they give you plenty of extra screws. So if you lose any out on the 
trail, you got extras. All right, put the wheels on the All right, so there are our tires and wheels on our chassis. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. We'll catch you when we get the body painted. I'm gonna show you how to paint the body also. How I paint the body, not how, you, how to, but how I do it. And Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.